booth at the new ERA football camp. I am your host, Jackson, and I am here with Joe. So tell us, Joe, what brought you here to this camp this summer? Um, I just heard it was fun. So I came and I go to school here, so, and I wanted to meet some NFL players. Cool. Are you learning how to be a better football player? Yes. How so? Um, there's real NFL players here and they're really good and they'll teach you stuff. What skills would you learn, like, still like to learn? Um, running back and receiver. Cool. Sennheiser is giving us the chance to try our hand at a career in sports and audio production. Are all of the mix and sound gadgets fun to play with? Yes. Yeah, all awesome. right. Let's start getting our future football players lined Well, up Joe, it's time to get right back on the field and let the others take a shot at a professional audio broadcast. Thanks for joining yes. us. Okay. Bye. 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 Nice job, guys. So... I'm Eric, I'm with Sennheiser, we're here at the New Era Football Camp 2012, and I am with... Terry Carter of Ter Marietta, Georgia. Terry, nice to meet you, welcome. Uh, Thank you. And thanks for coming all the way from Marietta, Georgia. Uh, so, obviously we're here at this camp, there's a lot of stuff going on football-wise. What brought you and uh, your child here to the camp? Well, um, I have two boys here, actually my son and his friend, that was supposed to be a third, but uh, we couldn't get in touch with him, but actually... Um, during the summertime, I like the, for the boys to have something to do to stay out of trouble. So we had uh, been to this camp at least two years before, so we just decided to come out and uh, yeah. participate. It's free, so hey. It's free is good. If it's for free, it's for me. I'll take free. <laughs> I know. Me too. <laughs> so excellent. So you, you saw that there's a lot of uh, professional athletes here. There's mm -hmm. a lot going on. Is that one of the draws? I mean, they get to learn from the experts? Uh, yeah, I think the kids like seeing people, especially Ovi Mahaley, Mr. Green, Athlete of the Year. So oh, okay. um, we know that he's here most of the time. And he works a lot with kids. So um, the boys look forward to seeing him especially because he's a local athlete. So Yeah, local is good. And it seems like there's a lot of uh, a lot of giving back here that's going on. Right. You know, training camps are about to begin. Mm -hmm. And uh, these guys have a lot of things going on, endorsements, this and that. So is it pretty important that they come back and – Oh, community. yeah. Um, I think for athletes that are, you know, professional guys that have made it to the top to show kids, especially inner city kids, exactly what they do and let them know, you know, you can make it to this level, too. You don't have to give up. You can come back. You can do what you're supposed to do in school, make good grades and be whatever you want to be. Exactly. Now, what do you think about this? So we're doing something a little different. You can learn about football and use your on the field prowess to become something. But also, <laughs> what do you think about this? You can use your on the field knowledge yeah. for a real professional career that, you know, maybe if you get injured, you don't make it. Right, exactly. Actually, you know, I was talking to the boys about that when we were driving over here because um, we went down a street that was filled with mansions to get. I think that was Mount Vernon Highway from, like, Northside Drive. And I was telling the boys, you have to work hard, make good grades, so you can be what you want to be. You're not going to play football. You're not going to be a rapper. So you might as well pick a career. I mean, you may or you may not. But, right. you know, let's be realistic. Only a small percentage of guys actually get to do that. Right. So I was like, look, guys, you know, look at what you really want to do to make it to the top. And even if you do play football, have a backup career and always have something, you know, you that you can do. So me as an entrepreneur, um, I try and teach kids, okay, be what you want to be, just dream big. So yeah, Dream big. And if you reach for the sky and you end up somewhere near the clouds, you'll still do pretty good. Right, right, right exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, Terry, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you. Um, bring your sons and, and your friends by and, and have them spend some time with us because it's really cool. They get to play with all the gadgets and the microphones and exactly. the sleigh and the camera and the cue cards and the boom mic. And oh, wow. Okay, a lot I'll of do fun, that. So. And they can spend as much time with us as they want uh, and oh, really wow. get a feel for it. So. Okay, I'll sure bring them back. Um, are you going to be here every day today? Be here or just all today? day, every day. Okay, great. If we don't get here today, we'll definitely get here tomorrow before because they had a lot of downtime um, early when they got here. So during that first hour, I think I can get them over here and get them done. Awesome. And we'll be here early, too. Uh, the camp starts at 8.30, but we'll be here running at 7, basically. So okay. if they want to spend some more time here just playing, having some fun, we'll show them everything they need to know. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for spending right. some time with us. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Hello. How are you today? We're here at the uh, football camp, the first day of camp, and we have a lot of parents out here with their kids. And this booth is to help kids understand how to have alternative jobs other than just playing football when they graduate. So you as a parent, um, did you ever play ball growing up? Yeah, I played uh, Pop Warner. Pop you played? Pop Warner when I was growing up, actually, uh, in my later stages from about seven years old up until... So you started playing at seven? And how long did you play? 
22 years. 22 years? That's a long, long time to play. So you see and understand what these kids out here are doing and why they're here. So it, don't you think it's important that they learn how to properly play ball and how to defend themselves? Because what do you think about all this going on with the head injuries in football and, um, you know, the speculation that there are concussions in football? What do you think about that? As far as these young kids go and how to affect them? Well, see, one of the reasons that they're having the problems that they're having now is because they're not using the safety as they were once upon a time. They might have changed the rules a little bit to secure the players in playing, but they didn't change the rules enough for them to, for safety reasons. Right. I think that is safety reasons. The helmet to helmet was a good thing that they did, banning the helmet to helmet. A couple of the other unnecessary roughness penalties, I don't think that they should have. Like what? Um, actually, one uh, unnecessary roughness is touching the quarterback. Mm -hmm. He's a player. <laughs> So, but don't you don't you think that the quarterback needs a little extra protection since he's just so out there and he can just be pooped? He's just a player. I get it. I get it. Exactly. What we're going to do is, well, if, if that's the case, what we're going to do is we're going to start getting pretty young ladies like yourself for the, and quarterback. Quarterback and positions, them, right, right. And let them fill on some booties. And that's what we'll do. If that's what he wants to do, that's what we'll do. Right, Other exactly. That, hey, look. He, he understood the game. Right. He is the highest paid Big person player. out there. Right, he so sure you is. you tell me, <laughs> I won't get rid of your best player. I I'm know. I'm going to try to intentionally injure you for life. Right. I want you out of this game. Right. You know, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take a little extra push or a little shove. But, you know, excessive, I understand what they're doing now. It's, it's a little, the game's gotten a little too excessive. Right, right. Especially with the. Younger kids not knowing how to hit each other, not knowing when you get them, how to wrap up instead of getting hurt. You know, a lot of them now are doing the old right. Deion Sanders, but there's only one Deion Sanders. Exactly, exactly. So that's why um, a camp like this really teaches the kids and the coaches how to come out here, how to hit right, you know, what to do and what the fundamentals of football is. So are you here with um, some kids you know or your son? What you, My what? son is here actually with, uh, with his team. Oh, his football team. Right. How old is he? He's uh, 10. 10 uh, years old, he's okay. He's playing in, I think, the 11, 11 and under league because he'll turn 11 in December. Right. But uh, we're, we're here with them. They are, uh, they, they were last year defending national champions. So. Oh, wow. So they have some great leadership, I see. Exactly. So there is his, your son's coach out here with him? Right, Coach Perry. He oh, is, wow. He's definitely out here. He's very supportive of the kids. That's one thing. That's one good thing that I like. They played with a different team last year. So is this a volunteer league? Or uh, is this a junior high or high school? No, it's actually a, uh, it's a traveling league. Traveling uh, um, football traveling team. team. And, um, so you play kids in other counties, other states? states. Or how far, state, you actually go out of the state of Georgia? We're going from the 27th through the 29th to Jacksonville, Florida, playing a tournament down in Florida. Oh, wow. So the kids get an opportunity to not only learn about football, but to get out, to travel a little bit, and all that gives them more exposure and get them more interested in wanting to be a player and just expanding their knowledge. Exactly. So. Then we have mentors, ment <laughs> mentorship programs right. where they're mentored. Uh, we have a couple of college professors that's actually out here that does oh, wow. the tutoring for uh -huh. uh, some of our kids. So, you know, they give back. We take also, they take uh, Coach Perry as success where they go to different colleges every week or mm -hmm. every other week or so and get that exposure. So he, the coaches are actually taking them out to major universities and letting them see what goes on on campus and what it takes to get there. Exactly. Oh, great. Uh, that's, that's real good for them because... They, they, as you said, they need the exposure. Yeah. That's that's another way of getting them exposed. They actually have, uh, they actually do uh, things where they, um, what do you call it, uh, mentorship programs where they take them out and show them sure. etiquette. All right. To, to how to be young men, how to dress, how to talk, how to speak to me. All those things are important because Not a lot me. of kids. <laughs> 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 You're boy. I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So we want to take all that out. So whenever they're in front of the media, whenever they're talking to coaches or people, we want them to know how to talk, how to speak, and all that stuff. So you give them an opportunity through this mentorship program to do that. And it's important because there are kids who actually never need, leave their neighborhood, and then you're going into high school, you still have never left perhaps your neighborhood, your state, and you really don't know how to interact with people. So that really gives them a chance to see what the university is about, to meet some of the officials and know what to expect if you plan to go on you know, um, past high school. Exactly in a higher level, which we hope most of the kids do, but actually if they don't get anything out of it, if they don't pursue their, their athletic career, we do want them to pursue a, we do want them to pursue a professional career so that they can be adjusted and make it in life. Right. You know, uh, it's not all about sports in life. We have different exactly. walks in life that you can take different avenues. Uh, let's say I have good friends of mine that actually took high school, I mean, out of high school, took scholarships so that they could pursue Other, their real dream. Real dream, not just football, right? Exactly, they pursue. Football is sometimes just a door to better things, a, a door to get you where you need to be. Because I, spoke, I speak with a lot of coaches who say, you know what, it's not that this kid became a pro player when he left uh, college, or, you know, it's not that this kid became a great college player, it's what that kid actually learned from them, the lessons life, to learn how to be a good student, to make good grades, and know that whatever you want, you can actually accomplish through hard work. So once you get those kids past, you know, just thinking that, okay, I want to play football, that there are other things out there, it's behind the scene things, behind the camera, and a cameraman sometime, those careers are great as well. So thank you so much. We're here with Harry Curse of UGA. I don't think I introduced him earlier, but he's a former football player with University of Georgia. So thank you so much, Harry. My pleasure, dear. All right, bye-bye. Wait, what's this school? What's the school name? Mount Merton. Mount Merton. Hi, we're live at, um, what's the school name? All right. Hello, football fans, and welcome to Sennheiser Broadcast Booth at New Era Football Camp. I am your host, Antavius Hood. And I am Stephen Hartnett, his assistant. Okay, and we are here at Mount Vernon High School, and um, we have some good names. Some good football players. We got O.V. Mahaley here. That's well. Yeah, um, top rusher in the lead, Ray Rice. Ray Rice, He's Ray good. Rice. He gave me some fantasy points. And uh, we're going to uh, be sitting back here today and watching all these beautiful kids run and play. Play yeah. 60. Yeah, maybe may, maybe you can see um, him and Ray Rice do their 100-yard. 100 100-yard um, 100 dash, by the way. Me and Ray Rice will be having event, a competition. Event, event of the day. Event of the day? Uh, event of the day, I think. I think. I'm, it might be. It might be. Uh, hey, that's it. Hey, that's it. No sign off. No sign off. Oh. All right, we're signing off. Take it again. Take it again. This one's going to be a little longer. Hi, football fans, and welcome to Sennheiser Broadcast Booth at the New Era Football Camp. I am your host, Antavius Hood. And I am his assistant, Stephen Hartnett, starting running back of Deion Sanders' True South football team. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the true running back. Truth, Deion, prime time. Tell me what you think about the um, football season that's coming up. Uh, you know, we, we looking pretty good out there. We um, practicing at Creel Park. Creel? It started at 8.30. Um, we have a tournament um, August no, I think it's July 28th. At July West, like, 28th, at okay. At Westlake High School. Well, July 28th, I mean, that is, it's in the thick of the summer. Tell me what you think about the heat. The heat. LeBron got his ring. He, th he thought he was going to get some respect. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> no. None. Well, I'm talking about the temperature, Stephen. Oh, oh. The, the temp temperature, <laughs> yes. We, we need an ice age. <laughs> Oh, well, there you have it. I'm signing off live from Sennheiser Booth, me and Stephen Hartnett. We'll catch you. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah, we're supposed to look at the camera when we talk and yeah. each other. Hello, football fans, and welcome to the Sen Wait. Sennheiser. Sennheiser Broadcast Booth at the new 
Era Football Camp. I am your host, Jake, and I am here with guest with Crystal. <laughs> so tell us, Crystal, what what brought you here to this camp this summer? Well, I came to this camp this summer because I love to play football. Actually, I came because my son loves to play football, and he's really, really awesome at it. Are you learning how to be a better football player? Absolutely. How so? Well, because today I learned how to catch the football correctly. What skills would you still like to learn? I want to learn how to do the karaoke. Sennheiser is giving us the chance to try our hand our hand at a career in sports and audio production all, are all of the mics and sound gadgets fun to play with oh yeah i'm really loving that well crystal it's time to get back on the field and let the and let the others take a shot at a professional audio broadcast thanks for joining hey, guys us like football camp yeah, keep your bracelets on for tomorrow morning because we're going to start football. For Sennheiser, new, era, new era and all sports fans, I, I am Jake signing off. See you on game day. Thanks, Jake. That was awesome. Good job. We'll give you something here. Jack. Jack. So tell us, Jack, what brought you here to this camp this summer? So what brought you here? Football camp. Are you learning how to be a better football player? Yes. How so? What skills would you still like to learn? What skills would you still like to learn? Line back, linebacker, wide receiver, and um, good job. Sennheiser get, is giving us the chance to try our hand at a career in sports and audio production. Are all the mix mix and should, should gadgets from to play with? You can also become a sports Roddy White. And these guys over here in the blue tent and Sennheiser will show you how to do that. Did we already read that? Trust me. Oh, for Sin has a new area, um, and all sports fans, I am Sean signing off. See you on game day. Good job, guys. Nice job. Let me get you guys a hat.